what's going down everybody welcome back fellas so check it out dude it's saturday and with that happy saturday guys so we're rocking with the o3 today we got to get mr four hundred seventeen thousand back on the road man plus my son's dying to drive it now with that being stated y'all know that the passenger side mirror got broke and the steering column the bottom cover it's a two-piece cover so they only broke the bottom cover now I come to the salvage yard today, me and DIY dad come to the salvage yard today to get some parts. Now I'm gonna show you what I got and I got all of it for $40, man. It's actually like $39.08 or something like that. I'll show you all the receipt. So let me turn this camera around and here we go, man. Side mirror, passenger side mirror, electrical connection, just like the one that came off the truck. And these are for the dome light, man. So they broke the tabs off when they pulled the dome light out. And that's all we need to get it fixed and snap back in there. So I got that also. And then y'all all seen that they broke this corner off of here to get to the ignition. Now, I don't know if this is the same color or not, but it's what I could come up with. And it'll keep the truck from looking like it was stolen. Now, here's the receipt. It was $39.08 was the final bill. Now, that's for all that stuff, dude. Now, I think that's a great deal especially being a power window for an 03. Now with all that, dude, I'm gonna get back to the house. I've already taken everything off the truck. So we'll go through the process of putting it back together. And then if you ever need to take it apart, you just do the process in reverse. So until then, y'all sit back and relax, enjoy the content, and I'll be getting at y'all here in a minute. All right, guys, so we made it back, man. We're back at Bill's garage. I'll show you the sign. Bam, Bill's Garage, man. So check it out, dude. I picked these up. This is the original dome light. We're gonna snap this back in there, like so, with the bulb in there. We'll plug it back in, everything else. Now, something to note is this has to be plugged into the connector in the truck before you snap it into this. So, we'll get into all that. Here's the uh, cover for the uh, column, which it is a little lighter of a color, but if he's that worried about it, we can paint it later or, or whatever he wants to do. And then here's our side mirror. So I'm gonna clean all this stuff up, dude, and then we'll jump out there to the truck. Wow, fading. We'll jump out there to the truck, and then we'll put everything back in. We're in the truck, man. We're gonna start off with the simplest thing, which will be the dome light. Now. If you do not have this piece in your hand, then you can't get this lens all the way off because of these tabs right here without breaking it. Now, with that being stated, and I do have mine in my hand, like I said, we're gonna plug it in up here. Right, because this plug is tight, man. There's no slack in it at all. So you're gonna plug it in up here. And I did already plug this in to make sure it's gonna work. I didn't wanna go through all this for nothing. get that tab over it wow there it goes just like so you can even check it if you want make sure everything's good see get a connection got a light good to go now this is how we're gonna do this because this right here actually helps hold your dome light to the top of the truck right so this is what we're gonna do and one more thing to note it states on the back of the plate which direction needs to go to the front of the truck. So here we go, man. This is probably going to be kind of weird. Because there's no room up here, guys. Now you see, your clips are lined up right there and your one guide pin, there it is, just like that, see? We'll put our, our bulb back in there. You always wanna check and make sure your bulb's in there. I mean, it's your power's there. We'll put that all the way back in. They ripped out that part. Well, shoot, guys. We're gonna have to do something with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm fading, I'm fading, guys, I'm fading. 
This right here helps hold that side up. Watch this. Boom, dome light fixed. So I'm gonna save the best for last, which will be the mirror. So let me get over here in the driver's seat and we'll do the column real quick. We made it to the driver's side, man. So here we go, dude, this is super simple, man. So if you have a tilt wheel, pull your lever down and then it pulls right off just like that. Make sure your steering wheel's all the way up. So tuck your panel up into here first, right? And then you'll just slide it around. And as you slide it around, your tilt steering will line up. Make sure that the rubber piece is behind your plastic and make sure your tab on the top goes behind your bottom cover. So it'll hold it in there. So I'm gonna grab this camera real quick. We're gonna come over here, the same thing with your shifter, man. You want to make sure everything's in there right. It looks nice. Then you're just going to, you're pretty much just going to pull that over. Once it goes over, we'll put our bolts in it. So give me one second to grab my bolts. I'm going to show you something about them real quick. And then we'll finish this up. Super simple, like I stated. I'm going to finish bolting this up when it comes to your locking tab. So just take it and push. Once it clicks, it's there, man. That's that. Now you have three screws. They're T25s. So you have two black screws and a silver one. The silver one goes in the center right here. So it's just like this right here. Right now this thing is bolting to your top cover. So you gotta make sure it lines up and then you know how we do it. We start them all before we tighten them up. The silver one goes in the middle And then you have one more right here in the corner. And once you get them in, guys, I mean, that's it. We'll snug it up. There it is. Snug it up. And then snug it up. And then there we go. It's on there. It's covered. Everything's secure. It's nice, tight like it's supposed to be. So that's that, man. I mean, that makes the truck look a lot better. So now we're going to jump over there and do that mirror, put it on, and then that'll be what time it is, guys. So the mirror came pretty clean. I'm not going to complain. Not for $27.50. So these here are your screws for the back. They're 10 millimeter. Now, I'm going to keep the camera right here because we got to make sure that this plug goes through that hole and clips in that's what these clips are for so we got to make sure it clips in i mean it's really simple as that and then we'll throw the door panel on and then we'll end it big dog so here it is man it's really that simple you line your screws up and then just make sure your plug lines up now you see how it went through that plug will also help hold that light and it's that simple guys We get our tens here. There's one. Oh, make sure it don't cross thread, fellas. That one ain't going on there right. There's two. Right there at the bottom. And then there's one right there at the top. I mean, and that's that, your mirror is bolted back up. Your plug goes through, you see where it clips on the inside right there? That's that, here's your wire. And then your release tab, here's your release tab. It goes on the bottom, not the top. Oh. And there it is, in there. Simple as that. So let me get this bolted up real quick. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. And then we'll throw this door panel back on. Last piece to the puzzle, man. Got the mirror on, got the dome lights fixed. We got the column covered back up. So here we go, man. First out of the gate, you wanna plug your plugs back in. First one's gonna be door lock. And you may have to depress your tab to get it to go in there, but you still wanna hear it click. 
listen uh, couldn't hear it click that time all right so the key with this door panel you see all these hooks right here so all of these hook in into these slots so you want to go from the bottom line them up just like so here's a key factor right here so before you push them all the way down in there and get them to set you got to do two things one you got to get this top lip right here to go inside this track the second thing is you have to make sure that your locking pin right here your, your locking thread is lined up so you can get your your thing back on there push in on the door panel and voila guys there did you see the thread right there we'll go ahead and put that on right now it just screws on there now you don't have to get crazy with this it's just a plastic thread just run it down in there enough it works so you have a Phillips here in the center simple enough you have a Phillips up here on the top and they're big Phillips guys I'm gonna run that in I think this missed it sure didn't feel like it got tight I gotta check that out real quick just to be sure okay it went in there we're good we're good you gotta understand that holds when you're pulling on that that holds that door in and then you have two small Phillips right here they go on the bottom you got one right there hold the bottom of that panel in and then you got one on the other side right here run them in get them snug snug as a bug in a rug your last piece is your door handle so I'm not sure what size this is guys I can't give you that man because I don't know but <laughs> it's pretty simple just put it in there your screw will stay in there it won't just fall out right so just put it up line that hole up There you go, man. Simple as that. Right, so we got it all done, man. We got the O3 rolling again, dude. Street legal, mirrors, everything. So I want to give y'all one last shot. Here, I'm gonna just go ahead and jump into it. So we got the dome light fixed. Perfect. We put a bulb in the map light. It still works perfect. Got the dash covered back up, man. It's actually the color. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Everything's secure. Looks good. Give you a shot of this mirror real quick. Door panel. Completely back on. Nice and tight. And then the mirror. Which that thing bolted right up and looks sweet, man. So, with all that, guys. Man, I'm glad we got this thing back rolling. My son will be happy to be back in his truck. Next up, dude, we got to get this heater core done. We have to pull this dash out of this truck, man. So, with all that, dude, keep living the dream. Doing your thing, like and subscribe, and I'll holler at you guys on the next one, man.